please join me in welcoming Ron Turrentine. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, and welcome fellow babblers and guests. I'll now recite for you a very special version of the poem, "'Twas a Night Before Christmas, by Clement Clark Moore. "'Twas the night before Christmas, and all across the floor, all the babblers were babbling, except for Gwen Moore, all our manuals were waiting for Robin to see and asked that she'd sign them so we'd get our CCs. But the babblers weren't nestled all snug in their beds. They were having a meeting in the front room instead. There was TJ in his diaper with Ron in his lap. They were listening to speeches by Gabriel and Julie Knapp. Then there arose such a clatter just outside on the lawn, so we ran to the window and we saw Christy Vaughn. She was with Carrie and Jim Potter, too. And there was David Nemo and Kathy Montague. When what to my wondering eyes? A disaster. I saw a Dodge Dakota, and it was filled with Toastmasters. With a funny old driver, so silly, what a dork. I knew in an instant that it must be St. York. <laughs> then quicker than a Toastmaster talking in vain, St. York whistled and shouted and called his babblers by name. Now Dustin, now Youngman, now Daniel and Cornwell, on Becker, on Bigham, on Carlson and Fandel, to the top of the lectern, to the end of the hall. Give a speech, give a speech, give a speech, y'all. <laughs> then Monique and Tommy both stared at Brad's truck, and Javier joined them. They were completely <coughs> awestruck. Then we all left the window and were turning around. When down the chimney, St. York came with a bound. He was dressed in his dockers and his face had a stubble. Penny said he kind of looked like Barney Rubble. <laughs> Jabbar laughed out loud and Philippia said, ooh. And David G. had ten ahs and seven ums, too. <laughs> but Brad spoke not a word and placed gifts on the shelf, which surprised Donzele and Allison Delp. Then Debbie and Clint and Elizabeth, too. Watch Brad blow his nose. Then up the chimney he flew. Bridget chewed him away, but Brad offered us one last rhyme. Merry Christmas, dear babblers, and please, watch your time. Mr. Postmaster. <laughs>